What's up guys, it's Tommy here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Dolphin Model SP210 RBT rechargeable party speaker. We'll be going over all the key features as well as putting this speaker to the test and finding out how loud it can actually get while maintaining a nice and clear sound. This speaker was sent to me for review. Links will be in the description below if you do decide to check it out. Having said that, let's get right into it. All right guys, so let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes inside. So we are gonna be using this blade here. We're gonna open it from the top and see what's inside. So we have some tape right over here. On the other side. And then here at the top, the first thing we see is some styrofoam. We'll go ahead and set this to the side. Since this is a big box, I went ahead and set it all the way down to the floor. Uh, the next thing we see is the speaker itself, so we're gonna go ahead and take that out. It is wrapped in some plastic. We'll go ahead and remove the plastic. It's very simple looking and it looks really nice and sleek to be honest. We're gonna go ahead and set this to the side for now while we check out what else comes inside the box. There's one last thing in there. It's a packet of uh, numerous different items. We'll go ahead and check that out. We have some dolphin stickers, a user manual, a remote control. I do really like this remote. It's very small and very simple as well. The buttons feel very good when you press on them. We also have a microphone. We have the on and off switch right over here as well as the dolphin logo. We do also have some cables. The first cable that we have here is the charging cable to recharge the rechargeable battery inside the speaker. The second cable that we have here is the cable used to connect your microphone. So the next cable that we have is for an external battery if you wanted to extend the battery life of your speaker. The external battery is sold separately however it can come in handy if you need the extra battery life. Be aware that if you do get an external battery do charge it for six hours before use. All you need to do to charge the external battery is charge the speaker normally. Just have the external battery connected to the speaker and then the last cable we have here is the aux cable but that basically sums up everything that comes inside the box all right guys so here we have the speaker itself the first thing you'll notice is the two 10 inch subwoofers right over here we do also have some tweeters you'll also notice a handle at the top of the speaker we also have one at the bottom these will be used to lift up the speaker if you need to lift it it is quite heavy it does weigh 32 pounds now on the side of the speaker we do have these little styrofoam pegs which will allow you to lay down the speaker on its side we do have four of these two right here in the top and then two right here on the bottom we also have some writing right here that says hi-fi audio um, and then if we look on the other side of the speaker, we don't have any of those pegs, but we do have uh, the writing again, hi-fi audio. And then on the back, we have a handle here where you're able to roll the speaker anywhere for easy transportation. We do have two wheels right over here on the bottom. And the last but not least, on the back of the speaker, we have all these different knobs inputs and switches that ultimately make this speaker function and we will quickly be going over all of these buttons and knobs right now. I did want to mention a few facts about this speaker before we get started. The speaker is 27 inches tall, 12 inches wide, and comes with a 7,000 milliamp battery which will allow you to play over seven hours of music. You can extend that time by purchasing an external battery as I mentioned earlier. Now we'll quickly go over all the different features that this speaker has to offer. So the first knob we have here is the volume knob. Right below that we have X space. If you don't know what X space is, it's basically a more advanced bass. If you're listening to music very low, you can still have the bass extremely loud. Below that, we have the microphone echo, microphone bass, microphone treble, microphone volume, guitar volume, microphone priority button. It is black, so it's a little bit difficult to see. It kind of blends in. And then below that, we have the guitar input and microphone 
input. We also have the power on and off switch along with the LED on and off switch. The charging input. We have the DC 12V input for an external battery and then we have the aux inputs. We also have the equalizer sliders right over here where you're able to control the highs, mids, and lows. Just above that we have the soundboard functions along with USB input, SD card slot, TF card slot, and then we also have a display right over here on top of all that. On the left side of that we have an FM antenna and then last but not least right under the antenna we have battery indicators low full or charging so that sums up all the knobs slots inputs and switches now we'll go ahead and actually test out the speaker and see how loud it actually is we're gonna do an indoor test as well as an outdoor test let's go ahead and do that right now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to connect to bluetooth it's very simple all you need to do is turn it on and then go ahead and wait for the screen to show bluetooth and then you're gonna want to go onto your device and then you'll see it show up as sp210 rbt so we're gonna go ahead and click into that so that we can connect to the speaker it'll ask you if you want to sync your contacts I'm gonna go ahead and put don't allow and as you can see it went ahead and started playing automatically whichever song I was playing last we're gonna go ahead and pause that for now and now we're gonna actually do the test let me go ahead and move the speaker and then we'll continue on with the test I did want to let you guys know that all the frequencies are all the way up as well as the volume and the X space as well all right guys so this is gonna be a quick example let's say you're just hanging out in your living room on the couch um, and then I went ahead and put my speaker on the other side of the room as you guys are able to see it's right over there And I'm gonna go ahead and play this song at half volume And I'm picking this song because it has quite a bit of bass And I want to show you guys how much bass you can expect to get from these two 10 inch subwoofers Having said that let's go ahead and play the song You ain't know now you know nigga I take four four nigga Bitch from me my sack before I come Eight thousand dollars plus a jet on the back end Twenty twenty now we're gonna go ahead and go full volume. Oh, now you know, nigga, I take four, four, nigga. Bitch, from me, my sack before I come. So it was extremely loud. I didn't want to play it too much longer because it'll probably blow your guys' speakers out. All right, guys, so that concludes the indoor test. It exceeded my expectations. It's extremely loud. I don't see anyone ever using full volume indoors, but let's head outside and see how it performs outdoors. All right, guys, so here we are in the backyard. I went ahead and put the speaker right here. We're gonna go ahead and stand over there on the other side of the pool. We're basically gonna simulate like if we were having a pool party or something like that so you guys can get a better understanding of how loud you can expect the speaker to get outdoors. We're only gonna be playing this song one time, however it is gonna be for 15 seconds and it will be at full volume. Starting now. I spit the A1 every day, I'm hitting new primes. Now the stakes high, nigga surprised at the new lines. Take it down my number like you still ain't got a new line. Nah, it's the same, we been laboring for years. I know it took way longer than nine months, but fuck it, it's all in due time. Overall, if you're looking for a premium speaker that will produce loud music for events such as tailgating, parties, or any other outdoor gathering, this speaker is definitely for you. A feature that really stands out to me is the ability to connect an external battery if needed. Although most people will be fine with the 7 hour rechargeable battery, just knowing you have the option to connect an external 12V battery for longer listening is a comforting feeling. But that concludes my review on the Dolphin 210 RBT party speaker. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Check out the links in the description if you are interested in this speaker. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future videos. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.